Hey, this is Matthew with BI Polar. In today's episode of Being a PM at Microsoft, I want to talk about one of the career superpowers that will enable your success, and that is setting and maintaining clear expectations. I hope you'll stay with me. Welcome back. If you're new to the channel or new to the series, make sure you check out the introductory video where I talk about my goals and plans for the series. Essentially, I'm speaking to my past self, sharing advice that I wish someone had given me 15 years ago when I started as a PM at Microsoft. Since I can't talk to my past self, really, I'm talking to people who are PMs at Microsoft today, who are in a similar role or at a similar organization, or to people who are thinking about being a PM in the future. If this sounds like you, I hope you'll stay with me because I think that this advice will help set you up for success. In a past video, one of the things that I said is that a PM needs to be able to thrive in a state of constant ambiguity. Today, I'm gonna come at this from a different angle and to talk about how clarity of communication is a career superpower, especially for PMs when you can let people know what they can expect from you, what they can't expect from you, and to work with them to make sure that you know what to expect from them as well, everything just gets easier. This setting and maintaining expectations is one of the fundamental behaviors that differentiates okay PMs from the awesome PMs that everybody wants on their team and everybody wants to work with. As we're getting started, I want to remind you that all interesting work is collaboration, and that impact at Microsoft is measured in three different ways. The obvious one that everybody always thinks of is the business impact that you deliver through your own direct actions, but the other two are based on collaboration. One is how you enable the success of others through your work, and the third one is uh, how you build on the work of others in your own work. This is where communication and setting expectations come in. A lot of people assume that others know what they're doing or they assume that they know what others are doing. Assumptions are the bane of success. Every time that you make an assumption and you act on it without first validating it, you're basically uh, rolling the dice. And in my experience, these unverified assumptions, they always come back to haunt you. The first tip that I want to share, the first piece of advice that I wanna share in this video is that when you clearly set expectations, you can identify the challenges or the disconnects before they become problems. One of the things that I love to do is when I'm working on a new project, working with a new team or a new stakeholder, is just to be really clear on what my understanding is, like this is the problem that we're, that we're working to solve. Oh, it's not? Well, let's align on the problem before we move forward. Uh, or these are the actions that I'm going to take. I'm gonna do this and I'm gonna do this and I'm going to provide this output with these characteristics by this date. Oh, that's not okay? Well, let's talk about that now rather than doing the work and then delivering that output uh, and learning only then late in the game that what you were doing was not what you needed to do or not what your collaborators expected and were relying on you to do. Because the second tip, the second piece of advice is essentially that without these clearly set expectations, one of two things will happen. One of them is you get to the end of the line, like the end of the project, you get close to or at the deadline, and then you learn that you're back at step one, that the work that you'd put in was wasted. Uh, the second one is without those clearly set expectations, you'll end up duplicating effort or working to cross purposes. If you don't say up front, I'm doing these things, I'm not doing these things, and understanding what your collaborators are doing like very often you'll get to the end and what you've produced is something that someone else also produced, but with a different flavor and different characteristics, meaning that some work was uh, left undone and you need to align your work with the work of others. 
or it's possible that you're simply working on different things. Uh, without those clear expectations set, you may have a different understanding of the problem and a different understanding of the solution that you need to be delivering. And because of that, when you get to the end, your collaborators have done something that doesn't align with you, you've done something that doesn't align with them. The third piece of advice that I wanna share is basically once you've set these expectations, like you need to do the work. That clarity of communication is basically providing you the guardrails and the safety net for the work that is to come. Like you know that you're on the right track because your collaborators, your stakeholders have agreed with you that these are the things that, that you're doing, that these are the things that they're doing, this is what you are relying on them for, and this is what they are relying on you for. Like once you've got this out of the way, you can run, like you've, you've eliminated that ambiguity and you can run as fast as you can, but you still need to do the work, right? You still need to create the things and deliver them with high quality uh, in the agreed upon time frame. But the beautiful thing is, at any point along this race, at any point along your journey towards success, when the criteria or the foundation on which your assumptions were built change, this is when you can stop, pause, or maybe just slow down and reset expectations. Let's say that uh, all of the expectations that you set were predicated on another team delivering some fundamental piece. Like they've got the prerequisite work and they said it was gonna be done by the beginning of the month. They came in two weeks late. Don't eat it. Don't simply say, oh, I need to work harder to do, uh, you know, to meet my original commitments. Instead, this is your opportunity to go back to your stakeholders, to go back to those people whose expectations you've set, to clearly say, uh, like, I need to let you know now that things are going to come in different or things are going to come in late because this thing had changed. And just as we talked about at the top of the video, this is the chance to be aligned. This is when they can say, for example, like, whoa, like, we can't accept that delay. Like, we understand that, that your starting point moved, but uh, you know, we've got commitments that we can't break for one reason or another. This is the chance to have that possibly challenging conversation, but to have it before uh, it's too late, like before you get to the deadline at the end. And this is really the magic of all of the things coming together. This is where your expectations and what you're doing and what you're not, what you're delivering and when you're delivering it, you get into this rhythm. And here's the deal, clear is kind. When you are clear and effective and upfront in your communication, you become the person that other people and other teams want to work with. You basically demonstrate those behaviors that make everybody happy. And this becomes part of your brand. It becomes part of your reputation. And the opposite is also true. If you don't do these things, you become, through your own choices and through your own actions, you become the person that everybody hates working with. You become the person that when they know that you are their point of contact, that they need to dot all of their I's and cross all of their T's, that they need to put in all of this work, that ideally you would be shouldering your share of this effort. I hope that this video was valuable. This is one of the most important things for ongoing PM success. And the more that you practice setting, maintaining clear expectations, the better off you'll be and the more everyone will love working with you. I hope that it works. Either way, we'll see you next time.